Okay guys, so now we're ready to put the petals of the flowers. So, this will involve just one string for now. So, take this string here and then position it to this foundation part here. So, take the string. Insert it through this white bead here. And also downwards. So now it should be coming out from this white bead here. So here's where we're gonna put the petals. So put two red ones on that one string. And then we're going to insert our string inside or in the middle of those three beads to form the first petal. And then insert it to this bead here. And here we're gonna put two red beads again for the second petal. And then insert your string through those two red ones that we have made. So that it will go this way. So now that our string is coming out from this bead here, we're gonna complete the circle by putting two beads on that string and then we're going to insert it through all of the red beads that we have formed okay so now we have formed the first flower it's just a matter of inserting it around to make it sturdy And then tighten as you go. Okay, so just leave it for now. And then I'm gonna show you how to work on the next two flowers. Okay? So we're ready to make the second flower. So take the other string that is right here. And then we're gonna insert it to this foundation part here. So just insert it so that it will go that white one. Okay, insert it in the middle and then through the left one here. So now it should be coming out from that bead there. So that is where we're gonna put the second pet uh, the second flower with another color. So I'm going to use blue. And then we're going to, since our string is coming out from here, we're going to the opposite, the opposite bead, which is here. Just insert it inwards. And then insert it down this other white bead here so that it will go to this position here. And then put two blue ones on the string. And then go through these two beads that we have made so that it will connect to the to the other two okay and then put two more blue beads and then pass it through this bead here going around to make a circle and then to make it sturdy, just pass along a few strings around to make it sturdy. So now we have formed our second flower. So to form the third flower, we're going to use either one of these two strings here. So I'm going to show you how to work on that next, okay? So for the third flower, I'm going to use this one on the red, insert it to this red one here, so it will go. So we're just going to jump to this foundation uh, beads here. It's okay if the string is visible. So I inserted it inwards, and I'm going to insert it upwards to this white bead here. 
So now our string should be coming out from that white white one there. So here's we're gonna incorporate another color. So I'm gonna use a violet one. So since our string is coming out from here, go the opposite way. Insert it inwards. And down to that white bead there. Uh, put two violet beads. Insert it to the first one that we've made. Going to the left to form the second petal. And then put two more violet beads and go around all of the beads that we have just made. Uh, insert it several times to make it sturdy. So now we have formed our third flower. And it's just a matter of fastening off the leftover string. Then tighten as you go. So now it should look like this. Hi guys, so now we are ready to fasten off. Take your one string, and since it is here, what I do is, I insert it through the, uh, to the embossed part of the first leaf. And then insert it inwards to the wallet piece. Insert it through several beads. To fasten off for about uh, two to three inches and then afterwards you can just cut the string don't worry it wouldn't pull out easily so for the other one insert it so this new bead here, I'm hoping that you can see it clearly. And just like the first one, insert it through this embossed leaf here. Make sure that the string doesn't tangle up. Insert it there. To fasten it off and then after this you can put the zipper on it and if you want to put a lining you can do so and then you can sell it to someone afterwards and maybe make more of them to sell okay so just do this to fasten off and that is how it should look like. So that's the end of our project for today. If you want to know how to work or how to put the zippers on this coin process, I will put the link to that tutorial on the description box below. If you want to know how to work on this uh, base part here for the wallet, I will also put the link on the description box. So that's it. That's the end of our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy working on them as much as I enjoy teaching them to you. If you have comments or suggestions, uh, please put them on the comment box below. All of the details about this project is going to be on the description box and more will be on my blog. If you want to support me, please watch the ads in full. So that's it for me. Happy beading everyone.